Now we can connect the Vision Assistant Express VI controls and indicators to the data highway. Let's start with the indicators. We need to create two new lanes in the data highway. Right click, open type def or type definition. And I know from the characteristic orange color for the indicator outputs that these would be floating point values. Place one numeric control and give this the name diameter in units of pixels. And then I'll do a control shift and drag down to do a copy and give this the name diameter in millimeters. This defines the two extra lanes in the data highway. Close that with a save and pull down two new terminals here. There's diameter in pixels and there's diameter in millimeters. Let's go ahead and make those connections. And I'm noticing as I connect that I'm getting the red coercion dot and we're getting that coercion dot on each one. That means that we've got a data type mismatch. Let's see what we can find here. Using context help, I see that these are single precision floating point values and not the doubles that I had put down. Let me reopen the type definition again. Right click, representation is single instead of double. Close the data highway definition and of course do a save with that. And now that is working just fine. I'd also like to have the grid descriptor as its own lane on the data highway. Notice the little black dog ear in the upper left corner. That tells us that this is a type definition. I'm opening the type definition and I'm doing a save as not because I want to adjust its behavior or anything like that, but simply I want to get the path, the direct path. And this is part of a LabVIEW library or LLB file. And the specific control is called simple grid descriptor. Let me cancel out of this. I don't want to disturb the LabVIEW control here by any means. Right click, open type def again. Let's open up a little bit more space. And now I right click and choose select a control. Here I'm doing a control V to paste in that path that I had copied a moment ago. Now, because this is a library of functions and controls and so forth, I need to scroll down and find simple grid descriptor. And then I place that into the data highway. Close that with a save, of course. Let me expose a new terminal here. And there's calibration and choose all elements. Now I can delete that and connect it into the data highway.